Hi everyone, I'm Sujin. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we will be doing an unboxing of my jewelry piece purchased in Paris. Yes, I did purchase a little something from Cartier. This piece has been on my radar for some time, more like a couple years, but never pulled the trigger. I have the Paris jewelry vlog, so please stop by to watch it. I will link the video in the description box below. I did not have the essay package my item with the white paper packaging with the red wax stamp. Since I thought I would have to open it for the officers at the customs. The essay gifted me a large box of chocolates and a bottle of champagne. The chocolate is from Jack Janine. I have a vlog of Paris by food and I did visit Jack Janine prior to visiting Cartier. It is one of the best chocolates that I have ever tasted. So if you are in Paris, I strongly recommend it. I was a bit disappointed in the champagne though. I thought that it was a Cartier bottle champagne but it wasn't. I ended up giving away the champagne bottle to one of the hotel staff since I was going to only have carry-ons for my flight back home. I also received two cleaning solutions and a travel pouch and this is the certificate of authenticity. Without further ado, Let's get right into the unboxing, or should I say the reveal? I'm so excited. Ta-da! This is my newly purchased Holy Grail Cartier Love Bracelet Diamond Pave in 18K white gold, size 16. It has 204 diamonds, totaling about 1.99 carats. The thickness is 6.7 millimeter. Look at the shine of this beauty. It is super blingy with all these diamonds. I guess go big or go home kind of thing. When I had it on, it definitely put a smile on my face. This is a statement piece. I don't think I'll wear it every day, but who knows? It is really heavy. You feel the weight. After a couple hours into wearing the bracelet, you kind of get used to the weight, but the weight is still substantial. This is really easy to take off. It has a clip latch and a security closure with a hinge on the other side. The security closure is thin and discreet. The love motif is raised. This is where you press down to open the bracelet. And this is very convenient to put on and off. White gold with diamonds are always rhodium plated making it very shiny and bright. Without the rhodium plating, the white gold will have a gray tint to it. So when picking white gold, it is better to have it with the diamonds rather than no diamonds. If you wish to get a white gold without diamonds, you can have it serviced for a rhodium plating with the fee. With the full diamond pervade, you don't see much of the white gold, but the areas you see is still a lot brighter. For my choices in gold color, it is always yellow or white. I'm not a big fan of the rose gold, since majority of the time the rose hue just doesn't hold up. It fades over time, resembling closer to the yellow tone. I chose to go with the white gold for my love bracelet. 
since I wanted to have a contrast and I do mix metals. I purchased the diamond pave bracelet not on the same day that I looked at the bracelet. I told the SA that I'm gonna think about it and will contact her if I do decide to purchase while in Paris. The SA insisted in giving my current yellow gold love bracelet a complimentary shine service, which at first I declined. But if you see, I am glad that I got it done since it is so shiny after five years of use. I have the video of my Cartier shine service, so please check it out and I will link it in the description box below. After leaving the boutique, I thought about it very much and also calculated the cost in Paris versus back at home in the States. For Cartier and Van Cleef & Arpels, the VAT refund is at 12%. But if you spend 30,000 euros or above, the VAT refund is raised to 16.66%, which is the maximum amount. The SA at Cartier said if I purchased a small love bracelet with diamond pervade in yellow, which is 29,500 euros, so 500 euros below she can talk to her manager to honor the 16.66% VAT refund since it is still close to 30,000 euros. So after calculating the VAT refund, global blue fees, and U.S. customs tax, I am saving about $3,000 compared to purchasing the same exact bracelet in Los Angeles. If you live in a lucky state in the US that do not have sales tax, like Alaska, Delaware, Montana, New Hampshire, and Oregon, then it will be best not to buy it in Paris. Overall, I'm very happy and satisfied with my purchase. My Paris trip consisted of a lot of sightseeing and eating a lot of yummy foods. And shopping was only a small portion. I am satisfied that I was able to save a little bit of money in my Cartier Love bracelet purchase during my Paris trip. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope to see you back here and thanks for watching. Bye!